plenty of hype around the Bulldogs this year and we all get to see it in action on, on Saturday night. Do you guys feel the weight of expectation, I suppose, that the fans have placed on you this year? Um, wouldn't say the weight of expectation from the fans, but um, I, f I feel the uh, expectation of a different look on our team. Uh, we've worked really hard on, I guess, not only on the footy side of things, but um, on culture. And that's one thing that we uh, strive to, to achieve is, um, is to come out with a different outlook, different team, and um, to show what we've worked really hard on in the, in the off-season. So, um, yeah. Can you give us a little bit of an insight into the, that culture that you spoke about this year? Yeah. Um, so Sarah come in and had a, a massive emphasis on, um, I guess, connection and trust. And that's what we've been working really hard on. Uh, to, it involved, you know, some of the boys being vulnerable, and um, through that, you know, we've discovered, you know, our, our purpose and, and a few values of for our team, and um, and things. I think that's something that that's been missing for for a while, and now that we have clarity around that, um, there's there's a lot of confidence and, and good vibe around around the joint. So, um, how, how did you do it? Like, what did you guys do? Did you just sort of like that? Everyone's opened up about yep. their own personal lives. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was. Um, we had a camp uh, early in the year, and um, we had to speak about you know our heroes and, and our hardship and you know, what we want from this team. And I was mad that all the boys you know felt the confidence and, and the courage to open up. And, and it was through that session where you know we felt you know family, and um, and from that you know. As a result, you know the connection and the trust, and and discovering you know our purpose and, and our values. So um, yeah. Uh, we'll turn to Corey before what he was sort of saying that whole dogs of war mentality is growing as well. And mm. something like Josh Reynolds coming back to the club, he's, he's building that. Is that kind of what you're talking about there as well? Building a brotherhood and building that. Yeah, exactly. Edge. Yep, yep. And having Josh Reynolds around is is massive for for where we are as a team and as a club. You know, we are fairly new. We've got. Uh, a whole bunch of you know, young boys coming through and, and having his experience and him knowing what the Bulldog DNA is all about. Not only him, but Josh Jackson's still around and Willie Mason, Marco Milley coming here and there. So, um, yeah, we are trying to build that kind of brotherhood and um, hopefully we can, or the competition can see that. Mm. Sonny Williams coming having a chat with you guys. That, yeah. um, apparently he was very passionate. Can you tell us a little bit about what he had to say? Um, it was just more about um, just encouraging the boys uh, leading up to the new season. Um, like I said before, we are a fairly new squad, new team, new coach, and it was just him encouraging us and um, just to you know put our best foot forward every week and represent the club well. Can you give us an insight into how Josh Reynolds is? Like, how is he? Yeah, I can imagine he would be absolutely like over the moon excited. Yeah, pretty I think you would know he's passionate about the club and um, he's always coming with a lot of energy uh, at training. Um, one, th one good thing about uh, Josh Reynolds is that um, um, he brought it up whether you're playing in you know, the New South Wales Cup or NRL and you know, everyone be on the same boat, everyone be on the same page and that just shows how much he loves the club and um, how he's craving that success for, for us and um, uh, it's good to have him around. Yeah. Can I ask how you survive the energy between? You must be exhausted between Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Fox. <laughs> <laughs> do you need? Oh, can't get them to shut up sometimes, eh? <laughs> I don't know who's worse, Josh or, um, or Fox. Um, yeah. Nah, it's good to have them around. Nah, it's, it's they, a good vibe. It's, 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 it's crack up. Are yeah. they just become like this like team that you know, everyone around you is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're trying to achieve with the club? Yeah, I think so. Like, I think if Josh Reynolds is loud, I think Fox wants to be even louder. So. Um, yeah, a few, a few young boys jumping on board too. Yeah. I know Team List is going to come out in a couple of hours time, but can you give us a heads up on who might be wearing the number seven jersey on Saturday? I think it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you'll see soon. <laughs> it'll come out. I don't think it'll be any much different to, to what you guys saw in the first two trial games. So, um, yeah. Cool. Sweet, thank you. Awesome. Thank, you. Uh, thank you. And we'll have new as well. Sorry. Okay, what is that?